guys, my name is Mara Elaine and welcome to uh, another special video of mine because I am going to name my top 10 favorite Pokemon in some sort of list. Um, I'm doing this because Mike called me out a couple of weeks ago. He made his top 10 favorite Pokemon list himself. Please check out his top 10 favorites list because it was quite um, a lot of fun to watch. And he called me out so I kind of have to do this. And I really want to, so that's not a problem. <laughs> but it was really uh, tough to make a decision of um, which pokes I should put on my top 10 list because I love a lot of Pokemon. Um, I just couldn't put everything in a list um, of Pokemon I really like and I really had to um, you know get some Pokemon out uh, which I still really like but you know that's the problem with the top 10 it's not big enough for Pokemon I mean there's 600 of them and you gotta put 10 best Pokemon in a list which is not easy but um, before I'm going to name them um, this is not going to be a competitive list because um, I'm not that competitive and I don't think it's really fun to hear me talking about moves and sets and stats and I I don't really like Pokemon because of that I just like them because of their looks and what they can do and you know that, that kind of stuff. So, here's going to be my top 10 favorite Pokemon list. I hope you enjoy. Um, just before we get started with top 10, I just want to say that um, I drew all of the um, 10 Pokemon and I'm not the best drawer ever, but I spend a lot of time on making these drawings. So, um, hopefully you like them. So, let's get started. Number 10. Number 10 is um, a Pokemon from the home region and it's actually uh, one of my favorite routes of the entire Pokemon series. Um, it's the route between um, Marvel City and Fortree City. I believe you can catch this Pokemon there. I'm not entirely sure anymore, but at least it was a freaking awesome route. And um, I always love going there when I just got Sapphire. I mean, it's quite a long time ago, but... Um, you know you had the secret bases there and the, you had tall grass and it was raining there I believe and just the, the, the route just looked really cool and um, at that point I needed a flying Pokemon and I was just walking around in the tall grass and I encountered a Tropius. A Tropius is a hell of a Pokemon. I really like this Pokemon for some reason. Maybe because it's some sort of dinosaur and I really love dinosaurs. But uh, I just think it looks really creative with the wings as leaves and it has bananas on its neck. I mean, how can... How is that not cool? If I had a real life Tropius, I could just pluck one of the bananas of his of his neck and never be hungry again. <laughs> but I just think Tropius is a really cool Pokemon and um, I always used it on my Sapphire game even though it was kind of weak. It was still a cool Pokemon and they actually made it better in um, the fifth generation which I'm very happy about because Tropius deserves to be a little bit better. Um, I think that's all I have to say about Tropius. It's just a cool Pokemon and I hope people appreciate it more because I haven't seen it in the top favorites list. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Number 9. Um, number 9 is mainly because of its super awesome popular song. Um, it's Lugia. Um, from that movie. <laughs> I Actually the movie is the, the main reason why I love um, Lugia so much because um, it's the it was so mysterious and it, it, when I was a kid I was really intrigued by this movie. I, I was watching it I was like oh my god that's so cool and everything was it was a great movie in my opinion and I still think it was it's a pretty cool movie and um, I really like the song they made there and that's I still really like it and sometimes I still even listen to it to um, you know to calm myself down to to you know, it's it's a great song to listen to and 
Lugia is just a really um, cool looking Pokemon. Um, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it, it's just a really simple Pokemon for a legendary, but still. Um, it has something to do with ocean and I really love um, the ocean, so that's already a reason for me to like it. Um, but I guess that's about it for Lugia. And I I'm really like this legendary, I don't really like all of them, but this is definitely one of my favorites. And we're going to move on to the next favorite. Number 8. Number 8 is um, a Pokemon introduced in the 5th generation. And this Pokemon has actually um, caught my interest because I have the feeling it's connected to another Pokemon. And um, the number 8 on my list is Sigilyph because it is a very interesting Pokemon. For uh, First it's very um, colorful, which I really like, I mean it really fits this Pokemon. Um, it, I have the feeling it somehow connects it to, um, to the unknown for some reason. Be it has some similarity, but then again it doesn't. But it's, it's also it has the same mysterious look and I have the feeling it has something to do with it. But that's just my theory. And um, it, in the description of black and white it also said it was a guardian of an ancient city and you know an owner ancient too and maybe they were also part of that ancient uh, civilization but I don't really know um, <laughs> it, it, it's just my theory but could be totally wrong but anyway um, I just really like the typing as well and I really love um, it's look, it's design, and I really wanted a shiny, um, legitimate version of this Sigilyph, and you don't know how many eggs I tried to hatch to get the Sigilyph, and I still don't have it. I think I hatched about, um, 12,000, no, not 12,000, um, well, 2,000, I believe. I think I hatched so many eggs, but I never got a shiny Sigilyph, unfortunately, which is very sad. But anyway, it's still a cool Pokemon, and I still always had it on my black and white team, because it was just awesome and pretty darn good stats. And I didn't really want to talk about stats, but it still has pretty good stats. Moving on to the next Pokemon on my list. Number 7. This Pokemon is one of the first Pokemon and um, I was always jealous um, of my brother because he um, had Pokemon Blue and it was on the cover of Pokemon Blue and I had Pokemon Red and Charizard was cool and all but I couldn't help wanting the Blastoise game card. <laughs> I knew you could choose Blastoise in game but um, I just I just really liked the Pokemon Blue. I really wanted the Pokemon Blue. But um, Blastoise is just a Pokemon I really started to like. Um, it was also really awesome in the anime, which also made me like it a bit more. And it's just, I really love turtles. And um, this this Pokemon always gives me the, the nostalgic feeling of Pokemon. And this design is just so cool. It's so bulky. It, it looks like it can take so many hits and it looks like it can shoot um, water with the power of bullets out of his thingy cannons and I don't know it just looks so cool <laughs> uh, I'm um, I thought I would put this Pokemon higher on my list but there's still so many Pokemon that I also like um, but this Pokemon is certainly one of my favorites because it always helps me in teams not just competitively but when I choose it as a starter or something else it's just a great Pokemon to have um, it just looks so awesome really it looks awesome but anyway that's about it for my awesome Pokemon Blastoise and we're going to continue with our next Pokemon number six number six is also a Pokemon that you probably won't see too often in the top 10 list uh, mainly because there isn't much to say about this Pokemon, but I just really love the design of this 
Psychic Pokemon Grumpig. Um, I've used it multiple times in competitive battling because it's actually much better than people think. It actually has great stats. I'm sorry I'm talking competitively, but that's because... Um, I, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that's why I start liking this Grumpig so much and I decided that it's not only a great um, stat and move-wise, but it's just a really cute Pokemon. It's a pig. And in my opinion, it's much cuter than the pig from the fifth generation. I just think the, um, the tool's really cute and um, the colors really fit the pig. I just think it looks great overall. Um, I never really um, used it in the third gen, but I really regret it because it's a cool Pokemon. It's I really like it. But that's all I have to say. It's just a cool Pokemon and I really love pigs in real life. So moving on to the next Pokemon. Number five. Number five is uh, was a quite a difficult choice because um, I love the evolution as well, uh, probably just as much as this um, this Pokemon, this pre-evolution. But because this one is very cute, I decided to um, put this one in the list because I just like it a little bit more. Um, I'm choosing um, Sfeel. Sfeel. I never knew how to pronounce his name. Sfeel, I believe. <laughs> in um, my list. Um, that's because um, I always, always chose this Pokemon um, in my um, Sapphire and Emerald runs because this Pokemon was just a great addition to my team. It had ice and water moves which were really useful in um, many battles and it just looks adorable. It just it, it just is very adorable and then it turned into Celio, I believe that's what it, the name is. That was also a very strong Pokemon and then even turned into Walreen or Wal... Yeah, I think it's Walreen and it, it's just... That was a great Pokemon. I had this um, ultimate team up with um, um, Walreen and Ludicolo and I always did double battles with it and I always won. <laughs> and it was just really cool. Um, it was a very strong team for some reason. I always used it as a kid. Um, that's why I really like this Pokemon. I have lots of memories um, from it. I always used it. I really loved the Shoal Cave, I believe. That's what it was called, where you could catch it. Um, I always randomly surfed there or around the cave. It was just a, It's just a great place. I really love that part of the home region. That's the only region where I love the water area. Because there's so much to do, um, like catching this cute feel. But um, that's about it, and we go on to the next Pokemon. Number four. This Pokemon was... Um, it's just really awesome evolution, Umbreon. Um, mainly because um, I think I kind of fell in love with it in the anime. Um, Gary Oak used it in his teams and I was like oh my god awesome and I gotta have this in my um, Pokemon Gold and um, before I even knew I already had an Umbreon because I played a lot um, at night with um, the Eevee I had and then I got the Umbreon which was really awesome and that Pokemon was just bulky as hell and it could actually, for some reason, do a lot of damage as well. Um, it was really nice to have such a bulky Pokemon in my team. And it's not just the stats, it just looks great. I mean, just a sort of foxy Pokemon that will glow um, in the dark with rings everywhere. I mean, it looks great. It has some sort of um, Egyptian look, I guess. It, it looks great. Um, um, it used to be one of my favorite Pokemon. It still is. It's still number four. Um, um, there, well, there's much to say about that. I, I really like using it because it looks freaking awesome. It has really awesome stats and it can take everything like a boss. But um, 
that's it for Umbreon. We'll continue to number three. Number three. Oh my god, I really love this Pokemon. This is one of the main reasons why I bought Pokemon Sapphire instead of Pokemon Ruby. Because when I saw this Pokemon on the cover, I was amazed. I love water Pokemon and this Pokemon was amazing. It, it looked so cool with that red stripes and white and blue and it was so mysterious. I saw different kind of arts of it on the internet and it looks... It, it's... Oh my god, it's my favorite legendary of all time. It looks amazing and... You know, as I said, I just really, really love water Pokemon and this one looks like it swims like very deep in the ocean it has those red lights around it and and it just swims gracefully and I don't know I, w I just get this picture in my head and it looks amazing and on top of that it's just a really strong Pokemon because it is a legendary and I that's the only exception I made with using legendaries in teams because you usually don't do that but I made an exception for Kyogre because Kyogre is just a wonderful beautiful Pokemon and it could learn a lot of moves and it was just freaking awesome it never let me down and it's just beautiful it's it's by far the most beautiful Pokemon I have on this list so that's it for Kyogre let's move on to number two number two number two is actually um, one of the fifth generation Pokemon and um, that's because I fell in love with it almost immediately. When I saw the sprite on Cerebi, I looked at it and I said, Yes, I gotta have this in my team. I don't care when I'm gonna catch it, but then I realized it's pretty late in game, so I was really sad about that, but I still caught it. I still threw away one of my Pokemon and I put a Mian Fu in my team to train it and let it evolve into a Mian Xiao because Mian Xiao is a freaking amazing cool looking Pokemon it's actually it's great that it is a fighting Pokemon I mean it just looks so good for a fighting Pokemon I've never seen many fighting Pokemon that actually look cool but in 5th gen they actually did a great job with fighting Pokemon. Also Scrafty, I really love Scrafty, but I didn't make it in this list. Because um, Mian Xiao has something, again, graceful. It just, it just, it's like dancing and punching at the same time. It means so cool. <laughs> and its design is just really, it just really flows together. If you know what I mean. I mean, I don't really know how to explain it. And yet again, it has great stats and stuff, which makes it really easy to use. And again, it's just it's just a cool Pokemon. There's not much to say about that. I think many of you agree with me because some of you have these Pokemon um, in icons and stuff. I think you know why this Pokemon is awesome. Me look at it. It's cool. <laughs> Let's move on to my favorite Pokemon of all time. Number one. Um, you probably all have been expecting this Pokemon, but um, I'm still going to talk about it and explain why exactly I like this Pokemon. At least I'm going to try. Not saying that it's going to make sense, but I will try. My favorite Pokemon um, up till now is Mandibuzz. Why? <laughs> well, first off, um, I started to like Mandibuzz. When I saw it in um, a certain person who isn't active anymore, but he always uploaded battles and he had a man buzz in them, and I thought it was a great Pokemon, it did great stuff, and then I realized it's actually a really cool Pokemon, and I never realized that, that before, which is kind of weird because when I wanted to buy black or white, I wanted to buy one of them because. I didn't have that much money back then, so just needed to buy one of them. I just was looking at the version exclusives, and I saw Braviary on Pokemon Black, and no, 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 wait, 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 it's <laughs> Braviary in Pokemon White, and Mandibuzz in Pokemon Black. 
And I thought Braviary looked cooler, so I bought um, Pokemon Y, but quickly after that I realized that Manabas also was really awesome. And it's not just the looks, but by the way the looks are really awesome, I really love the Vulture Bird thing. I don't think they have done that before, but I think they've done it really well here, the colors are... Uh, what they should be and they shouldn't be so bright on the bird like this and they done that perfectly well and um, I'm not really sure I just really love the idea that this is a vulture and you know what vultures do they just stand back and will watch and look at other animals do their thing and they just eat the leftovers <laughs> you know for some reason not totally, but I also stand back and see what other people do, so I know what I have to do so I don't look like a complete fool. It's maybe a kind of far-fetched, but um, I, I kind of see myself like that. I also like to stand back and let other people do the stuff and I just follow them and I don't really... Um, make a fool of myself <laughs> but it's not exactly the same as soldiers do but you know what I mean you know, I hope um, and stat wise this Pokemon is also really awesome it's just, it's just mainly about the looks I really love this Pokemon it looks so badass and for some reason it's female only which is also kind of cool in my opinion um, just like Braviary is male only but, um, you know, that, that's just really cool. Um, and that's it for my top favorite Pokemon. It was kind of difficult. Um, but I hope you really liked it. And um, be sure to check out Mike's top 10 favorites list. Because that one was a lot of fun to watch. And also contains totally different Pokemon for totally different reasons. So be sure to check that out. Um, anyway, that was it um, for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And tell me what your um, Pokemon, your favorite Pokemon are. I'd love to know. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.